Cancer affects us all, either directly or by affecting someone we know. The numbers are sobering. One out of every two men and one out of every three women will develop cancer in their lifetime. Today I'd like to talk with you about the importance of collecting and using cancer data provided by the National Program of Cancer Registries, or NPCR. Cancer is a major public health problem in the United States. Premature deaths, lost productivity, cost of cancer and its treatment, and the long-term effects of cancer and cancer treatment on quality of life all take a huge toll on everyone, from the person with cancer to the society as a whole. Understanding the scope of the cancer burden in the United States better begins with knowing more about the people who have or have had cancer. CDC's NPCR program supports 45 states in collecting complete information on almost 1.6 million new cancer cases each year. This includes information on where the cancer is located, how widely it has spread, and how it was treated. NPCR-supported cancer registries form the backbone of our nation's cancer surveillance, providing data on 96% of the U.S. population and 100% of the population when combined with data from the National Cancer Institute. The data from these cancer cases allow us to answer many important questions, such as, who is getting cancer in America? Who is at highest risk? What kinds of cancer are on the rise and what kinds are falling? Where will prevention efforts have the biggest impact? Are screening and prevention strategies working? Answering these questions will help us to learn more about cancer and ultimately find ways to more effectively prevent and treat this devastating disease. The CDC uses registry data to investigate public concerns of suspected cancer clusters, monitor trends in incidence and mortality, and identify groups of people throughout the United States who may be at increased risk for cancer. We also use the data to develop reports and strategic plans for cancer control at the local, state, and national levels, with the ultimate goal of reducing cancer and cancer-related deaths. But it's not only the CDC that uses this information. With registry data, Lawmakers can see if certain policies have been effective, like improving access to diagnosis and treating cancer earlier, when it's more effective and less costly, and encouraging healthy behaviors such as vaccinations or quitting smoking that lead to fewer people getting cancer. These data are available to cancer control planners and researchers. They're available on the CDC website. Anyone can chart the progress we're making on controlling cancer in the United States. NPCR, cancer registry programs, and hospitals that collect these data enable the crucial work to prevent and control cancer. Without registries, our efforts against cancer would be guesswork. Cancer registries give us the information to know how to best use our resources and if our efforts are paying off. Applying registry data in cancer control literally saves lives.